All right, so taking this uh, a little bit further, we can talk about foot speed. And again, I'm, I don't think I have the fastest foot in the West, but it's, it's not bad by you know, amateur standards. I use uh, several different pedals. My favorite is the DW9000. On this kit, I have a DW5000. And I normally play with shoes on, but I have socks on today. And um, my, pet, my, my, my technique is, is not unique. A lot of people use this sliding foot technique. Starting at the back of the pedal and moving forward for the second, or if you're doing more than two strokes, moving forward as the pedal, or as you're striking each stroke up the pedal. And I'm normally a heel up player. I do play a heel down from time to time. Sometimes I hit, I'm a hit and stick player as well. But when, it, when playing fast patterns, it's usually coming off the head. All right. Um, and of course, this, there's a, there are many different ways to play these. Um, I'll show you a couple of different approaches that I take depending on what I'm trying to achieve. Most of my speed comes in bursts. I don't have a lot of endurance when it comes to very fast kick drum playing. Um, I can play that shuffle pattern that we just addressed in the Hoffer Teacher a little bit slower with this foot and it's, it emulates the double bass. So for something like that where I'm playing a long stretch with my foot doing a shuffle, um, I will move the foot back and forth with the heel up. Yeah, I lack consistency over over long stretches, and that's because this um, this muscle uh, has not developed as as well as a lot of double bass players. The one in the front, next to your shin, where runners get shin splints. That's the muscle that gets fatigued the fastest when I'm doing these long longer patterns. But just for the sake of um, argument, I'll, I'll play this shuffle at my top speed with a single kick. But in bursts, I can play much faster. And again, this is going to sound more impressive than it is. Those of you who know what's going on um, and can do this, it, it doesn't, it's not as, as fast as it, um, as it comes across. Because playing in bursts, you get a lot more speed. Single stroke rolls, that fast, but maintaining that speed over time, you get fatigued and, um, at least for a drummer like me, who's not into the extreme speed drumming and the endurance, um, you can lose some of that momentum. But in bursts, you play fast, and your foot is no exception. So this comes in uh, when I play quads and sextuplets um, between the hands and the feet. It's just an alternating right, left, foot, foot pattern. And you can really get that cooking if you've got some speed in your feet. Now, I'm using this forward-backward motion here to achieve that double stroke. as really fast, the sextuplet pattern, the sixth pattern would be very similar, right, left, right, left, foot, foot, making um, the sixth pattern, and you jam that in the space of a quarter note, and you sound like you're doing something very impressive, but it's just a variation on the four pattern. Again, bursts, burst, rest, burst, rest, you can achieve a lot of speed that way. Um, for triplets, I don't get as much power out of them. And in fact, the middle, the middle note of the triplet 
is softer than the first and the third. And usually my last note is much louder. This comes from inconsistency, and I work on it, but it's really difficult to achieve. Um, but at any rate, the, pat, the um, technique I'm using is sliding forward three uh, for each of these strokes. And usually I'm closing it up at the end there. And goes for fours. So that triplet pattern um, comes in handy when playing grooves like Jerry was a race car driver, which I believe um, went something like. Uh... And uh, finally, when it comes to the foot, there is the single note in succession with the floor tom, like we talked about in the hopper teacher group, um, but a single note, single note variation during fills or a double and single combination. So you could easily uh, increase what sounds like a double kick, uh, the speed of what sounds like a double kick by doing the alternating the right and left, or a right and foot, or the left and foot. Now notice my, my foot is pretty static when it comes to that. And I think the heel is up, if I'm not mistaken. Again, the uh, issue there is consistency uh, over a long stretch. Um, yeah, I think that about covers it. And just getting that consistency and fluidity is, is the hardest part. I obviously have not mastered it, but it sounds pretty fast when played in combination with other strokes.